Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of estimating fractional sums and differences. This is standard 4.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 5 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got bags of potato chips, a third of the bag of barbecue, three-fifths of the bags of cheese, and then the rest are plain chips. And so now they're going to ask us a question about plain chips, but they didn't give us uh, you know, any anything to really operate off of. So let's do this. Let's take a look at how we could, since it's just less than, more than, we don't really need exact numbers. Let's estimate here. So in fourth grade, we learn about benchmark fractions. So I'm going to draw a few bars here to kind of give us a visual reference. I'm going to make sure that they are kind of lined up perfectly and the same size, and that's going to help us. All right, so let's pretend these are all exactly the same bar. So some of the, th the three benchmark fractions that we learn about, right, are going to be fourths. All right, so I always cut it in half and then cut each half in half. So right there, if I want to do it in order, that's one-fourth. And then you notice that one-half is really the same as two-fourths. So I'm going to say one-half, two-fourths, and then I'm going to do my fourths again. And then I've got one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. So it's kind of a stair step, right? So these are, the, these are kind of the benchmark fractions. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, okay, so my one-third, my one-third, I think it's kind of close to one-fourth because they both have a numerator of one and the denominator is only one away from each other. But I'm going to kind of use this visual reference here. Now, I'm going to need to break this into thirds. So I'm going to do my best to break these into three equal parts. So here's my one-third. You see how I've lined them up kind of like fraction strips. And you see it's it's between one fourth and one half, but I am gonna say it's a little bit closer to this one fourth. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of think that it kind of latches onto this one fourth right here as an estimate. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this three fifths. Where does the three fifths kind of land in this? Because we're gonna end up needing to draw a different picture. But thirds and fifths are hard to draw. So fifths, let's see if I can draw one, two, three, four lines. You always draw one less line than the number of spaces you need. And so I've got my three fifths. Let's see where that lands. You notice my three fifths is kind of in between my half and my three fourths. I'm thinking it kind of. It could kind of go other way, but I'm going to think it's I'd rather kind of estimate down a little bit. Kind of looks like it's could be either could be either the the two fourths or the three fourths. Um, looks like it's kind of right in the middle there. Maybe it's a little bit closer to two fourths. Okay, so how is this going to help me by trying to find which of these fractions it's like? Well, I've got a, a thing of potato chips right here, so I'm going to draw. A thing of potato chips. Here's my whole thing of potato chips. Okay, I'm going to draw a square. So it says that if I were to draw this, fourths and halves are really easy, right? So I'm going to cut this in fourths. And the one third of the of the bags are barbecue, but that's kind of like one fourth. It's close. So I'm going to label this BBQ. Okay. And then it said three-fifths are cheese flavored. So this cheese flavor is kind of like one-half or two-fourths. So I'm just going to write C-H-C-H. And the rest are plain. Well, so look, what does this give me here? This gives me my plain is about, about one-fourth. Uh, could be a little bit less, but let's take a look. So is it more than one-half? No. There are no bags of plain chips. No, there are some bit plain chips. Exactly one half? No, less than one half. Yeah, my one fourth is less than one half, so my answer is D.